welcome to Cradle Mountain. Yep, it's not always like it is in the brochure. Sometimes it's cold, bleak, and even dangerous. Outside of twisting an ankle or getting lost, the biggest risk to you in these mountains is hypothermia. G'day, my name's Paul and I work for Ambulance Tasmania. I'm the guy who has to make the decision whether or not police search and rescue teams keep looking for you when you get lost. That's a decision I'd really prefer not to have to make. The dangers are real and hypothermia could happen to you. Hypothermia has killed people in these very mountains, both in summer and winter. What is hypothermia? It's when your body loses heat more quickly than it can produce heat. This results in a dangerously low body temperature. This usually happens when you go out in extreme weather without the right equipment to keep you safe. So while you might not need these down here, up there it's a completely different story. A $10 poncho simply won't be good enough to keep you safe up in the hills. But hypothermia doesn't simply mean you feel really cold, it means your body's shutting down. It's not just an inconvenience, it's something you can actually die from. So the best thing is to try and avoid getting hypothermia in the first place. But if you do, or someone in your group does, remember the early signs can be difficult to spot if you're not alert for them. When your body temperature drops below 37 degrees Celsius, things start to shut down. First you'll start shivering, Below 35 though, you'll lose feeling in your fingers, you'll have trouble speaking, and you'll have trouble with your balance coordination. This is the time to stop and fix things because it's a whole lot harder to fix after this. Below 32, hypothermia becomes more severe. You won't be able to think clearly, your shivering will stop, and you may even start to remove clothing. Below 28, you're in serious trouble. You'll collapse, your breathing will be shallow, your pulse weak, your muscles rigid, your skin pale, and you'll lapse in and out of consciousness. Luckily, preventing hypothermia is simple. Take short breaks, snack often, and stay hydrated. Take lots of layers of polypropylene or wool clothing, and if you feel cold, add a layer. Check the weather forecast before you go, and if you're not sure, ask park staff for more information. Study the map and take note of where the emergency shelters are. Avoid walking alone, so if anything does happen, support is always close by. Recognise the umbles. Stumbles, mumbles and grumbles can all be early signs of hypothermia. If you notice any of these things happening, stop, put on some warm clothing and consider whether you need to push on. In Tassie, snowstorms and extreme weather can occur at any time of year, even in summer. This is a three day period on top of the Cradle Plateau. Sunny and warm one day, two days later, waist deep snow and well below freezing. Hypothermia is most successfully treated early. Set up a tent, get out of the wind, turn back or find shelter in an emergency hut. Get some water on the stove, get out of your wet clothes and into some dry clothes, get in a sleeping bag, get on a mat. Try and call for help via triple zero or activate your EPIRB. But remember, rescue services may take more than 24 hours to get to you in bad weather. So, that's it. Enjoy your walk, but be prepared and have the right kit. Look for signs of hypothermia in yourself and your group. Know the dangers. And most of all, take care in Tassie's wilderness. Thank you.